Hi friends, welcome to Real World Plant-Based Diet. This week I want to talk to you about hot flashes, night sweats, menopause, menopause symptoms. So this video may not be applicable to all of my channel viewers or maybe someone that you love is going through this and you could send the information on to them or Maybe it's not for you, but that's what this week's video is going to be about. It's going to be sharing all about my experience and what I'm going through with this whole process of menopause, hot flashes, night sweats, and in particular, my search for a natural solution to this. And I think I'm making some good progress, friends. So I'm going to share everything I know and feel free to ask me any questions in the comments and I will get back with you if you're going through something similar uh, or even have some of your own information to share. So my story is uh, for my menopausal story and I'm just gonna be open, honest, probably TMI, but I'm just gonna share where it's at. <laughs> so I started menopause, I probably started perimenopause in my 30s for sure. Uh, late 30s maybe I don't know it seems like I used to say I've had hot flashes since my 20s and now that I'm starting to learn about the mind-body connection I'm starting to see where that's is probably not hormones it's probably not menopause but I'll get to that later um, but my menopause started really truly at age 46 that's when my period stopped stopped absolutely done and I, I mean, to the point where my husband, who actually keeps track of my cycles better than I do sometimes, I think, he was like, he asked me one day, I was 46, and he's like, when is the last time you had a period? And I was like, I don't know, that's a good, good point. And it had probably been three months or so. And it was disconcerting to the point that we actually went to the drugstore and got a pregnancy test which would have been a miracle because I've st struggled with infertility all my life and we weren't able to have children. But this little glimmer of hope came of, you're right, I haven't in like three months. And so we went and took a pregnancy test, which was negative. We weren't devastated. I mean, I didn't really expect that I was pregnant. Um, and then I was like, huh, I must be in menopause at 46. And now I don't know if we're supposed to go off our mom's stories or not, but like my mother, when she went through menopause, her periods didn't just stop. She had years of strange periods and too many, too close, little spotty ones here and there, and all this stuff going on with her period for years. Her cycle didn't just stop. Mine did. So I was like, good, yes. I thought it was power of the plant-based diet. You know, I'm handling menopause uh, better and what, and what I thought would be better as in as far as not having dragged out periods. And so I just rolled with that at 46. And then about six months later, I had one tiny little spotty period. And that's it, that's all I've ever had. And I'm. 48 years old now, solidly 48, like 48 and a half. So it's been two full years since my cycles have stopped and by any definition, I'm in menopause. So then this year, 48, probably even Simon thinks a little bit before my birthday, like I said, he's more aware <laughs> of all my cycles, emotions, uh, even physical things than I am sometimes. And so he thinks this hot flash thing has been going on for about a year now. Probably may have started when I was 47 or right after I turned 48, I don't know. And so I've been really struggling with this. And I think you can even see it in some of my videos, I may have mentioned it. Um, and night sweats and a few other symptoms. And so I'm like, and I... I don't even really have a doctor here in Memphis. I tried going to what I call the Western Medical Establishment once here and it was not a good experience for me. And so I was looking around, I tried, so I tried supplements. Let's talk about that. I tried, um, I tried black cohosh, um, 
what's the other one? Um, anyways, what, there are a couple of pretty basic ones that uh, people try, pure herbs. So I tried black cohosh and the other one, it might pop into my head. Didn't work, didn't help me at all. Then I put out on the Facebook uh, that I was struggling with this and I got a few recommendations from people, like have you tried anything? And I tried one that was called Feminescence, which was a maca-based supplement, natural supplement. And that worked for a while. That worked for maybe four to six weeks and then it just tapered off and kind of stopped working. And then I heard about another one called Estraven, which is a rhubarb, rapontic rhubarb supplement, Estraven. I took that and that seemed to work better than the feminescence and it worked for like two weeks and then started tapering off and then I was just suffering with this and so finally I was like what am I gonna do do I need to go to a doctor I talked to a friend of mine who is a doctor in Jackson Tennessee and he's and he's a very natural open-minded functional medicine doctor and he said he would probably consider um, bioidentical hormones and then I talked to some other friends and they're like no the bioidentical is not as you know it's just as bad as the other hormones don't be adding hormones to your body and I'm like I don't know what to do so I was like I kind of need to go to a doctor I don't really have one and I found a good naturopathic doctor here in Memphis and come at a recommendation of a friend and I'll put her information down below if you happen to be in Memphis or I believe she does telehealth for anyone and she is a fully trained naturopathic doctor in the state of Washington where they recognize and license them they don't here in Tennessee and she did like four years of medical school just a naturopathic route so she has had as much training as a Western doctor and her, Dr. April Sullivan, I'll put her information down below. So that was two weeks ago, exactly two weeks ago from today. I went to see Dr. Sullivan and we talked through everything I've been going through, pretty much the whole history that I just told y'all and the symptoms that I was having. And she, in her mind and the protocols that she uses, she's like, this is not hormones. Women get painted with hormones and it's you know it's a natural change that happens for every single woman why would we need to pump things into our bodies when we never did that hundreds of years ago which makes sense to me that's why I like naturopathic doctors <laughs> I like more natural routes for things and so she gave me some protocols and some suggestions that were very natural that were just around diet and juices and um really around these protocols from medical medium. If you've heard of the medical medium, a whole series of books, oh, I should have brought my book. Um, so I bought a book uh, about liver cleansing. And so she really believed that this is a symptom of a backed up, overburdened, overheated, overtoxified liver, which makes a lot of sense for me all because I have abused my liver in the day. <laughs> Anyone who knows me from high school, college, well into my 30s, my work years, travel, I was a pretty hardcore partier. Um, I would say I've abused my liver quite a bit. Now it's interesting, Simon and I have both gotten to the point well into our late 40s where we just, we can't and we don't drink anywhere near as much as we used to, but he was partying with me as well and my poor liver, my poor liver has uh, had some abuse over the years. It is what it is. So I, this was making a lot of sense to me. And I will put the medical medium information down below. He's helped a lot of people and those protocols help a lot of people. So here's where we get into the interesting part with this, and which will bring me to where I am today two weeks later. And also connect in with this idea of real world plant-based diet. The way that Simon and I live our lives, the way that I set up all this information to help people, like this is easy, you can do this, you don't have to be perfect. 
You can get the vegetarian option at the restaurant. You can have a little bit of meat if that's your thing. Um, and you don't have to be perfect and you can get health benefits from eating a ton of plants. And we're healthy. You know, I went into that naturopathic doctor visit believing that about myself and thinking, gosh, my diet's really good. And so this protocol that I had shifted to for about two weeks now um, is definitely uh, plant-based and it is it takes everything that we were doing and it takes it like 10 steps further so no gluten no soy no corn no vinegar no nutritional yeast which for vegan recipes and things anything that has that cheesy flavor cheesy sauces we use nutritional yeast everywhere no fermented foods no coffee no alcohol no sugar and on and on and on and on and only not eating any fat basically eating nothing but fruit until noon having drinking celery juice every day and then going on a full-on cleanse where you get to the point where you're drinking celery juice a couple times a day and then doing a full-on cleanse once every two to three months which is a nine-day cleanse and it just it was feeling overwhelming for me but I was starting to do it because as I told my naturopathic doctor in the visit I said this these hot flashes are so terrible that I am willing to try anything and I am and I was willing to try anything so I started and I'm actually very good at this I'm very good at revamping the way we cook the ingredients that we use putting together meal, finding good recipes, going out and finding all the blogs, who's cooking this way, who's making medical medium friendly foods, or vegan gluten free is a good place to start. And you know, friends that are like have been there and they have autoimmune and different issues and yeah, I understand I can't have any of these things either. So I went out, I did all the research, I started finding what looked like pretty good recipes, you know, like okay, okay, I can probably survive on this if I can make tasty foods and the good thing is one of the healing things for the liver is good glucose so maple syrup coconut sugar and honey so some sweet things and fruit plenty of fruit and I have a total sweet tooth and you know sugar has been one of my issues and I'm like oh good I can have sweet foods I can make dessert so I was good I was finding my way I've even put together a big Thanksgiving meal plan that was all all of those things gluten corn soy nooch free and I have a grocery list we're going shopping this afternoon for it but now I'm gonna put some other things back in it we'll get to that and so I was putting together everything I needed and then with the celery juicing uh, 16 ounces of celery juice in the morning which is one full bunch of celery preferably organic so here I was stocking my refrigerator with like six seven bunches of organic celery and getting through that and don't get me wrong fruits great and green juices are great but just that feeling of am I gonna have to do this every single day for the rest of my life this doesn't fit with how healthy I think we are and real-world plant-based diet but I did it for the last two weeks did my hot flashes reduce? When I did the potato diet, y'all saw me do the potato diet, and I lost some weight. It was for short-term weight loss, so I did two full weeks of potato diet, two full weeks of medical medium protocol, and throughout all of that, so a month, I've really been cleaning everything up since we've been on vacation, really, and you know, had my hot flashes gone away, had my night sweats gone away? No. I was starting to think maybe they were reducing a little with this medical medium protocol, but then I don't know. It's hard to tell because then we're going to get to the information that I found yesterday, which brings me luckily PTL, praise the Lord, as they say down south, brings me back to real world plant based diet eating and our diet. So yesterday I was feeling really down for whatever reason. Over the weekend, Simon and I both kind of strained and hurt our backs, which I, we did it in the exact same spot, mid-back, 
Luckily, I know this trigger point. I'm a massage therapist. I've been studying trigger point therapy, so I was able to help Simon quite a bit today. And I also believe the way that we both strain our backs is part of TMS, the mind body syndrome. And TMS flares up. I have a great video about it on my channel. It's a popular video. If you're interested in mind body things that happen when you throw out your back or your body sends out a big pain signal, I'll put a link to that TMS video below. But there's, I believe it's more than just physical. And it's repressed emotion that we're not processing, that we're not feeling. And that's a big topic. I won't get into that one today. You can watch my other video on that. So we both went a little bit down and out and I was just not feeling great yesterday. And finally, I went back to what I know from energetic work that I do and that I've studied for years in this mind-body connection. I'm like, you know, instead of just pushing against everything and doing this big long list of things that I feel like I have to do and eating all these foods that I feel like I have to eat, it's like go inside, go inside. Check in with my heart, check in with my heart center, my heart chakra, my energy, my soul. What's going on here? What's going on? What do I need to know? And when you know it, I was led to exactly, exactly the information I needed yesterday. So I decided to stop doing my big long laundry list to-do list and I just, well, I'm like, I'm going to go watch TV. I'm kind of pouty. I'm going to lay on the couch and watch TV. And I pulled up Gaia channel, which I love. And I just flipped around and I found one of this, this interview with this woman who does channeling. And her name is Georgia Jean. And she channels uh, something called the circle, the circle of light, something to do with circle. And then I was led to find more about Georgia. And what she was talking about was going inside and observing and feeling and thinking about things that you're triggered by and transforming that energy and using what we think on the surface is negative energy or stuff that we just keep stuffing down, which I had already believed was coming out in back pain for me and Simon. And we're stuffing all this down. We're not feeling the feelings while well, she's talking about how to recognize that, recognize where there's a charge, and it's energy, it's just energy, it's neutral, it's there for us to transform and transform into healing our body, healing our life, reaching our goals, reaching our highest expectations, aspirations for ourselves and transmuting that energy. I'll put a link to her website below, it's Circle Evolution, she's got tons of great information, free download of information. And this whole topic came to me yesterday of going within when something doesn't feel right. This whole idea of I can never eat a speck of what are supposedly healthy foods, you know, like corn tortillas or like homemade breads or my uh, tofu-based onion dip, tofu tempeh, things that Asian cultures have eaten for thousands of years that Dr. McDougal recommends. Here I am thinking, oh my gosh, my, I'm basically down to rice and vegetables and some gluten-free oats. <laughs> you know, I, I was finding recipes, but it would, none of it was feeling right to me. And so then I went and checked inside and I was led to exactly the information that I needed. And so I am taking in this information about transmuting the energy and I'm using that on my hot flashes. Bring that topic full circle. So now when I feel that, when I'm having this hot flash, it's a signal from my body and let's take that energy, feel that energy, transmute that energy into a thought instead of it signaling to me, oh my gosh, my body is gone totally wrong and my hormones are terrible or my liver is terrible or um, I transmute all those thoughts, take that surge of energy into I am healthy, I am strong, I am a divine sovereign being, I am healthy, 
just because I'm going through changes in my body, I can move that energy. So I'm working with that. I just found this yesterday. And then I found another, was led to another site. I love to research, so I'm digging around. And I found this woman, Tanya Elfersey, uh, website, The Wiser Woman. I'll put all the links to this down in the video description. And The Wiser Woman is all about a program for natural healing of menopause symptoms. And her whole approach is that we as women do not need to be fixed. Our bodies don't need to be fixed. Look within. And I don't, I haven't done her program or even dug that deep into it because this all just came to me yesterday. But that whole premise of I don't need to be fixed and I can work with this mind body connection, which I have studied for years. I've used in my practice with my clients. And it's like, oh, hello come back to that and use it on myself when I'm having something <laughs> that I'm struggling with, whether it's back pain or menopausal hot flashes or so every time I'm having a little bit of that heat build up, I'm working on transmuting that. So this video is getting a little bit long, but I can do a, another video as I study more and I can share more of these techniques with y'all of what I am doing to naturally overcome hot flashes and menopausal type symptoms i'm truly believing now there's nothing wrong with my body and there's nothing wrong with my real world plant-based diet that simon and i eat healthily and we balance things and we enjoy our lives and we need to just come back to that mind body connection and transforming that and that's what i'm gonna work on and honestly, I've been working on it just today, and I can feel when a hot flash comes on that I can transform that and kind of cool down and move it on in a much shorter time frame and much less heat. And it's really powerful for me so far. So like I said, I will share more on that in future videos. I hope this information has been helpful for anyone who is going through the same thing as me or if you have someone you love who is going through the same thing and I just love how it's all come together and that I'm going to work with mind and body and the underlying assumption that there is nothing wrong with my body there is nothing wrong with me and there is nothing wrong with the healthy way that Simon and I eat that is real world balanced flexible mostly vegan vegetarian just wanted to share that with y'all friends i will put all of the information that i mentioned in the video description down below if you like my videos feel free to give a thumbs up subscribe down below i've got some meal planning things or newsletter information you can sign up if you want to hear more from me and all the links to real world plant-based diet information down below. I will see you next week, friends.